Church, welcome to Unbound City Updates. Every Sunday, we are having our Living Room Revival Series. Join us for our online Sunday service celebration with three broadcast timings, 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 7 p.m., only here on our official Facebook page. We would also like to invite you to our weekly cell groups where we can learn more about the Word of God and make friends on and offline. We have an array of cell groups from men, women, youth, and young professionals. For more details, you may send us a message on our Facebook page. where we can learn more about the Word of God and make friends on and offline. We have an array of cell groups from men, women, youth, and young professionals. For more details, you may send us a message on our Facebook page.
Church, welcome to Unbound City Updates. Every Sunday, we are having our Living Room Revival series. Join us for our online Sunday service celebration with three broadcast timings, 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 7 p.m., only here on our official Facebook page. We would also like to invite you to our weekly cell groups where we can learn more about the Word of God and make friends on and offline. We have an array of cell groups from men, women, youth, and young professionals. For more details, you may send us a message on our Facebook page. where we can learn more about the Word of God and make friends on and offline. We have an array of cell groups from men, women, youth, and young professionals. For more details, you may send us a message on our Facebook page. Somebody in this live broadcast, you can greet them, you can tell them, encourage them, whatever you want to say, you can put Bible verses as well. So, happy, happy Sunday and good day to every one of us. Yes, and if you are in your home, please gather your family, invite your friends, because today God's gonna move in our lives. Amen. And as we believe that, as we seek God first uh -huh. and in His kingdom and His righteousness, all the things that we are praying for will be added unto us. So, we are still encouraging everyone who has not yet given their revival offering. Because last, day, last Sunday, we had a blast. We yes, had yes. a revival offering. We are still accepting the revival offering. So, please take note if you are giving today or the next Sunday or the next few days of January, you can still 
give and um, email us at unboundcitychurch.gmail.com and write um, revival offering you may also write your name and your prayer request and also the transaction receipt and your screenshot if you are giving yes, online you may yes. still give up until january 31 2021 so without further ado with an open heart let's, let's get, get ready, ready to, to worship, worship. God, come on. Woo! We want to meet those in church. Can we just stand up and praise God? Come Amen. on. Give Him the glory. Give Him the praise. Worship God in this place. Come on, if you're there online, can you type down in the comment section, I'm ready to worship. I'm ready to praise.
Salamat o Diyos sa iyong katapat. Salamat sa iyong pagmama. Kami pinagpala dahil sa iyo. Sa katapatan mo pa. i 
we give our hearts to you, God, when we give our everything. Lord, thank you. Thank you for this time. Thank you that we can come to the throne of grace where your mercy overflows. Thank you for the cleansing. Thank you, God, for the restoration. Thank you for the forgiveness that is available for each one of us. To sense that maybe there's someone watching right now. It's your first time to be here on this broadcast. And hindi mo magintindihan, but you just felt something different. There, there's love and there's peace all together. There's like, alam mo yung mga sitwasyon na pinagdadaanan mo. It's difficult, but then again, there's just something extraordinary, a peace that's happening within you right now at this moment. And God's just telling you, it's from Him. It's His love. It's His faithfulness. It's His goodness. It's because you, you are here and you've opened up your heart. Therefore, He can come in. That's what you want to do for the rest of this service. Open up your heart to God. Give Him your everything. Give Him your all. Come on, wherever you are right now, just praise God. Glorify Him. Thank you, Lord. Church, welcome to Unbound City Updates. Every Sunday, we are having our Living Room Revival series. Join us for our online Sunday service celebration with three broadcast timing, 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 7 p.m., only here on our official Facebook page. We would also like to invite you to our weekly cell groups where we can learn more about the Word of God and make friends on and offline. We have an array of cell groups from men, women, youth, and young professionals. For more details, you may send us a message on our Facebook page. As we declare that this is the year of revival, we pray that you experience it in all areas of your life, especially in your finances. To give your tithes and offerings, you may give them through the following options. Personal drop-off to Unbound City Church Headquarters, via GCash or bank-to-bank -bank transfer. The account details are flashed on your screen for your reference. Kindly send your giving receipts through our email at unboundcitychurch at gmail.com. May the Lord increase your generosity. Thank you for your support in expanding God's kingdom. God bless you. And you're slow to anger. Your name is great. And your heart is kind To all your goodness I will keep on singing Ten thousand reasons for my heart to smile Hallelujah! Can we shout hallelujah to the Lord? Hallelujah! Alam niyo po, sobrang galak ang ating puso pag tayo ay natutuwa. Amen? At mas lalong natutuwa ang Lord pag tayo ay nagtatagumpay. Amen! So tunay na natutuwa ang Diyos sa ating tagumpay. Pagig laging masaya tayo, sisigaw sa tuwa dahil ang Diyos ang nagligtas sa atin sa lahat ng mga pagsubok gaya ng 
gaya ng kahirapan, asakit at karamdaman, kawalan at kakapusan. Dakila ang ating Diyos, tapat at tunay na nagmahal sa atin. Nararapat na sa ating pasalamatan at itataas ang ating mga buhay sa ating pagsamba. Itaas ang ating Diyos sa ating mga buhay, sa ating pagsamba, sa ating dakilang Diyos. Ang ating Diyos yan nagbigay sa atin ng sobrang atagumpay sa ating mga buhay. Dito po sa ating pagsamba sa ating Diyos, kasama po dito ang ating pagbibigay ng ating tithes and offering. Isa po ito sa mga susi ng ating tagumpay. Galak na galak ang Diyos dahil ibig niya na tayo ay laging tagumpay sa lahat ng ating ninanais at ating ginagawa. Ang Diyos ay natutuwa. Alam niyo po, sobrang galak ang Diyos pag ang sinusunod natin ang kanyang mga Uh, utos. Yun po ang righteousness na gusto ng Lord na maranasan natin. Nasusunod po tayo. At alam niyo po, ang pagbibigay natin sa Diyos ay sobrang nakapagbigay sa atin ng kagalakan sa ating mga puso. Amen? So ito po, share ko po sa inyo itong verse ng ang mga awit 37, 35 verse 27. Sinabi po dito, ang nagsasaya sa aking paglaya, bayaang palaging sumigaw sa tuwa. Dakila si Yahweh, tunay na dakila sa aking tagumpay, siya ay natutuwa. Amen? Okay. Thank you, Church. Hi, Church. My name is Princess Vasquez Ramirez. Many of you know me as the wife of Pastor B. Maybe as one of the core leaders of the Church or one who leads worship. Or just the awesome mama of Baby Bali. <laughs> But today, I'm here simply as a child of God. A child who wants to testify the goodness of His Father. I want to tell the world that my God lives. Back in the year 2017, I can vi still vividly remember how lost and broken I was in almost every aspect of my life. Instead of serving the one and only King Jesus, ang dami ka dami pong mga bagay noon na nagahari-harian sa buhay ko. One failure dominoed to another, and then another, and then another. I lost a large amount of money that wasn't mine. I lost my job. I lost my relationship not just with Pastor Brandon then, but with many people that I love. I was in debt, and I was down to nothing, I thought. Yet there, in my darkness, God was still with me. Tinayo akong muli ng Diyos at sinamahan sa bawat hakbang ko. Instead of running away because of shame, I ran ever more closer to God because of His goodness and love for me. The next year, 2018, I gained a new job. Um, I was able to pay my debts. I regained my purpose and the relationship I thought I completely lost not only was restored was, but was made even better and brand new. I got engaged to the most eligible bachelor of UCC, <laughs> Pastor B. Back then, we didn't really had much financially. In fact, before him being able to give me a proper engagement ring, his very first informal proposal to me was with a ponytail that he tied to my finger. Despite how it looked like, in my heart, I was sure that this is the man that I want to be for the rest of my life, a servant of God. Fast forward to today, a lot has happened already. And to us, it meant losing two homes that we thought we will be building and growing our family in. <laughs> Being pregnant with, in the midst of a pandemic with a business that cannot operate yet. Mandated by the doctor for a bed rest with no expected income and bills and expenses piling up. Transitions with the church, transitions with our marriage, and to now having a baby to take care of. But even so, we did not stop serving God. Through it all, God has been so, so faithful to us. With every need arising, was His provision coming. Nag-provide sa amin ang Diyos sa iba't iba pong kaparaanan. And we just did not had enough, but we had more than enough that we had to share it to others. And just last week, we were able to give our revival offering, and it was more than what we gave last year. Today, I'm standing here free of debt, and I'm able to live a life of generosity because of God's grace and mercy to me. 
slowly, now we are able to build our savings for the future and for Bali. Truly, God delights in the prosperity of His servant. So the question for us, church, is who are we serving? Are we serving ourselves? Are we serving our career? Are we serving our relationships? Or perhaps money? I encourage you to choose God. Dahil kapag Diyos po ang ating pinaglingkuran, hindi hindi po tayong mauubusan. So right now, let us be excited to give it all to God. Just like my word of the year, give it all. Give it all to God today. Ibigay mo ang lahat sa Panginoon. Give it to Him, to the one who gave His all for us. So right now, church, come on, I invite you. Let us pray together. Father in heaven, we just worship you at this moment. Lord, with our hearts surrendered to you, we want to be able, God, to give you our all. Ang lahat ng meron kami ngayon, Panginoon, ay sinusuko namin sa iyo. Ikaw po ang aming Diyos. Ikaw po ang aming pinaglilingkuran. Ikaw po ang magpo-provide, Lord, ng bawat pangangailangan na meron ng bawat isa. And God, I pray, Lord, for every servant of yours and for every people right now desiring God to serve you, to give their lives to you, God, I pray that you would give them the grace, Lord God. Lord, to be able, God, to have the strength and the courage, Lord, na ibigay po ang kanilang buong buhay sa iyo, Panginoon. Salamat, God, Lord, that as we prepare our offerings today, and as we give to you, Lord, we know, God, we have confidence in our hearts na ikaw po ang unang nagbigay ng lahat para sa amin. And thus, God, we believe, Lord, for your provision, for your miracles, Lord, for health, oh God, prospering in our lives, Lord, in every aspect. Marami pong salamat, Panginoon. Continue, God, to, to mold us, to bless us, Lord, into the uh, people, Lord, that you want us to become. Marami pong salamat, Panginoon. Right now, Lord, we give to you with cheerful hearts, God ready to receive from you, Lord. We love you, we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Church, welcome to Unbound City Updates. Every Sunday, we are having our Living Room Revival series. Join us for our online Sunday service celebration with three broadcast timing, 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 7 p.m., only here on our official Facebook page. We would also like to invite you to our weekly cell groups where we can learn more about the Word of God and make friends on and offline. We have an array of cell groups from men, women, youth, and young professionals. For more details, you may send us a message on our Facebook page. As we declare that this is the year of revival, we pray that you experience it in all areas of your life, especially in your finances. To give your tithes and offerings, you may give them through the following options. Personal drop-off to Unbound City Church Headquarters, via GCash or bank-to-bank -bank transfer. The account details are flashed on your screen for your reference. Kindly send your giving receipts through our email at unboundcitychurch at gmail.com. May the Lord increase your generosity. Thank you for your support in expanding God's kingdom. God bless you. And you're slow to anger. Your name is great. And your heart is kind To all your goodness I will keep on singing Ten thousand reasons for my heart to smile Happy Sunday, Church. What a wonderful time of 
uh, just worship and just giving to the Lord. Um, kung simula po kanina, you are tuning in. Um, if you can just feel the presence of God, I do believe na kahit na uh, we're watching this on screen, you know, God's uh, presence is not limited on a place. But what I love about our time is that the Holy Spirit is not limited to a space. Kung makikita nyo po in a New Testament before, maraming mga um, milagro na nangyari even when Jesus was not around on that place. I remember there was a centurion. Sabi niya, um, Lord, can you heal my servant? Sabi ni, sabi ni Jesus, sige, I will come there. Pero sabi ng centurion, ah, Lord, hindi na, just say a word and my servant will be healed. Right there and there, the Lord say a word and the servant that is in another place was healed. And I do believe that is one of the evidence that the power of God is not limited in a space. But when we have faith, but when we have this heart that is expectant with the Lord. So wherever you are, whether you are in the church right now, yan, sa mga nandito po sa church, woohoo! Woohoo! Um, today, we uh, were just really amazed with the amazing production and the elevation that God is doing to our church. But at the same time, what I love the, what I love, uh, the most about this time is the presence of God is very evident. Hindi lang po sa lugar na ito, but I do believe wherever you are as you are listening. My prayer today is that we will all be aware of the presence of God wherever we are. Maybe you are in the church serving. My prayer today for you is that you will be aware of the presence of God as you serve. Whether you are watching or listening, my prayer is that you will see the goodness of the Lord and His eyes watching you and being with you just as this moment. So before I share the word of God today, why not we close our eyes and let's just welcome once again the presence of God. Hallelujah. Lord, Holy Spirit, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day to you, God. Whatever time we are watching this, we want to greet you and welcome you in the atmosphere, God. Marami pong salamat na ang puso mo ay laging nakikinig sa, nga, sa mga pusong na uuhaw sa'yo. Marami pong salamat that you are in this place and you want us to see more and experience you more. God, thank you for your love. As we hear the word of God, we know, Lord, that we will see you, we will encounter you, we're gonna experience you. So open our hearts, open our minds, cover us with your blood, God. Allow us, Lord, to be focused in your word, in your um, instructions, in your conviction to us. Today is the day that the Lord has made, Lord. We will be, we will rejoice and be glad, Lord, because you are in this day. We bless you and honor you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Woo, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. Amen. So why not kung nanonood ka, just go uh, put a comment in the section, uh, in the comment section, God is good. Amen. God is good. One time, let's declare, God is good. Woo, hallelujah. You're good, Lord. Amen. So today, as I, uh, as I share the message, I want to share um, about the message entitled, Way to His Favor. Okay? Way to His Favor. And I want to share from the book of Exodus 33, verse 12 to 14. Yeah, and so, may mga background po ako dito. Salamat sa engranding uh, pa-welcome. Ito, narinig nyo po. Um, there's uh, engranding uh, 
sound, <laughs> background sound as I uh, speak the verses that we will be sharing today. So Exodus 33 verse 12 to 14. So mamaya, um, uh, we're going to read more verses from this chapter. But um, I want to read verse 12 to 13. It says, Moses said to the Lord, You have been telling me, lead these people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. You have said, I know you by name, and you have found favor with me. If you are pleased with me, teach me your way so I may know you and continue to find favor with you. Remember that this nation is your people. Amen. So, um, we're still in the month of uh, January in our uh, new year, 2021. And I do believe, you know, um, every new year, it brings new hope, new expectation, new beginnings sa atin. Madalas nga po natin sabihin, di ba? We have New Year's resolution. Because uh, every new year, there's this hope na bagong simula ito. And sometimes, or most of the time, many of us were... Uh, really desiring for a better year we want more opportunities to come we want to we want our lives to be elevated we want to see more favor to our lives and um naniniwala ako you know um this year is not just a year that we are expecting or we are hoping for something better but I do believe that, you know, yung new beginning na nakikita natin, yung new hope na nag sa puso natin every new year, it's not just because of the date, but it's because of God reminding us that there is hope. Amen. Amen. And you know, as I share this, maybe, you know, when we talk about favor, nakikita natin yung mga blessings ng Lord, yung sudden grace, yung sudden doors that will be open to us. Pag sinabi pong favor, we're really um, expecting something that we are going to receive unexpectedly. You know, uh, another way of, or uh, as a dictionary, when we read um, the meaning of favor, it's, uh, it says kindness. In other words, it's kindness, uh, grace. But this time, I want to share about the favor of God. And how are we going to access this favor of God? In, ver in Exodus chapter 33, uh, verse 15, ayan, sabi po dito, um, Moses said to him, uh, If your presence does not go with us, do not send us up from here. Okay, in the further verse po, sabi po ng, ng Lord, promise ng, promise ng Lord kay Moses in verse 19, The Lord said, I will cause all my goodness to pass in front of you, and I will proclaim my name, the Lord, in your presence. I will have mercy in whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. But he said, um, you cannot see my face, for no one may see me and live. So, pause muna tayo dyan. I want to read more promises from the Lord. In Exodus chapter 34, Sabi po, sabi po dito ng Lord, uh, Exodus chapter 34 verse 10, Then the Lord said, I am making a covenant with you before all your people. I will do wonders never before done in any, in any nation in all the world. The people you live among will see how awesome is the work I the Lord will do for you. Amen. So ito yung mga pangako ng Lord kay Moses. Ito yung mga sinabi ng Lord na ibibigay niya, which is the favor of God to Moses and to the nation. Ang sarap no, no, sabi ng Lord sa kanya in verse 34, I will do wonders and miracles never done before. Amen. Yun yung pangako ng Lord kay Moses. And another one, dung binasa ko kanina, sabi doon ng Lord, I will cause all my goodness to pass in front of you. Amen. Diba? Ano kung, um, when I think about God's goodness, when I think about God's favor and miracles, parang, Lord, um, my, my heart is bursting. Kasi grabe, when you think about of goodness of God, alam mo yung parang every areas of your lives being prosperous, even your relationship, not just material things. That is the favor of God. That is the grace of God. And He promised that to Moses. He promised that to His people. And this year, we want to declare that this is the year of the Lord's favor. 
Amen. You know, this is the year of the Lord's favor. Therefore, sabi po dito, if God promised Moses that um, he is making a covenant with him before all his people, sabi niya doon, I will do wonders never before done in any nation in all the world. Diba? Can we just also receive that, that Lord, you will do wonders in our lives that has never done before. We're gonna see miracles that never been seen before. Amen. Can you believe that in your lives? Maybe, you know, meron ka pong mga panahon sa buhay mo that you are um, uh, seeing um, hopeless situation. Di ba? Meron po tayong mga area in our lives that, Lord, this may look like a hopeless um, hopeless relationship or hopeless um, financial uh, status. You know, maybe you're looking... Um, things that in your life na parang wala ng pag-asa, but there is a promise that God has given to us that He can do miracles never done before. Amen? 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 So I really do believe that as we declare God's favor in our lives, you know, we're gonna see more. We're gonna experience more from the Lord. So what are you expecting God to do to you today? Amen. What are you expecting God to do um, His miracles you know, in your life today? Where, what's the area? Or saang, saang area ng buhay mo gusto mong maramdaman yung grasya ng Diyos, yung pabor ng Diyos sa buhay mo? Maybe you want relationships. Maybe you want... <laughs> Lakas ng amen po dito sa simbahan natin. So maybe... Hindi lang po uh, romantic relationship, but maybe there's um, friendship or a family relationship that you want to be restored. Maybe you want to go back to the ministry or even pursue yung business na nasa puso mo. You know, um, God is good. And sabi niya po kay Moses, I will pass all my goodness in front of you. God hears the desire of the heart of his people. Amen. And true enough, may kita po natin that God has been faithful sa pangako niya. Simula po ng, uh, simula po ng tinawag niya si Moses, He was with Moses all the time. Di ba? Sa mga panahon po na sa mga panahon po na nakailangan ni Moses ng miracles, you know, uh, I do believe that uh, Moses is one of the uh, famous, one of the famous uh, Bible character because of the miracles that God has done in his life through him. Amen. And why why that Moses how Moses experienced that? Okay, paano po ba ni Moses na experience yung pabor ng Diyos sa buhay niya? Okay, how Moses experienced the favor of God? Number 1, Moses six God. Okay, Moses six God. You know, many people want to see the hand of God but doesn't want to know His heart. But the way to experience His grace is to know Him. In Exodus chapter 33, uh, sabi po dito ni Moses chapter 33 verse 12, Moses said to the Lord, You have been telling me, lead these people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. You have said, I know you by, my, by name, and you have found favor with me. If you are pleased with me, teach me your ways, so I may know you and continue to find favor with you. Ang sarap po, no? Sabi ng Moses, um, Moses already experienced miracles from the Lord. But he said, God, teach me your ways. In Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16, sabi po dito, Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. You know, um, in Exodus chapter 12 and 13, yung sinasabi po dong favor in an original context, ang ibig sabihin po nun is grace. Yung favor is talking about the grace of the Lord. And in Hebrews 4, 16, sabi po dito, let us approach the, 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 the throne of God of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Diba? Lumapit daw po tayo. Let us approach the throne of God so that we may experience His mercy and yung pabor ng Diyos sa mga bagay na kailangan po natin. Yun po yung sinabi din sa atin sa Bible in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. I'm reading for N, uh, from NIV. You know, um, Ang sarap because, you know, we can only experience God as much as we know Him. 
Amen. We can only ex- we can only experience God as much as we know Him. Kung gaano po natin kakilala at gaano po tayo nananampalataya kay, the, kay, kay Lord, is, uh, that's the only measure we can experience His grace. That's the measure we can experience His favor. So Moses wants, God, teach me your way. Because if I know you, I will see more of you. Amen. If we know God, we're gonna see more of Him. And Moses desired God. Today, I want to ask you, what is your greatest desire? Or who do you want the most at this time in your life? Amen po ba? I, I do believe that um, God doesn't want you, uh, hindi lang po gusto ng Lord, that you will experience His hand. But first, He wants you to experience His heart. Amen. Ang sarap po, kasi sabi po dito, in verse 14 to 18, sabi po ni Moses, uh, sabi po ng Lord, the Lord replied to Moses, My presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Then Moses said to him, If your presence does not go with us, do not send us up from here. How will anyone know that you are pleased with me and with your people unless you go with us? What else will distinguish me and your people from all the other people on the face of the earth? Ang sarap po, no? Kasi parang sabi, ng, sabi ni Moses, na kung hindi sasama sa akin yung presence mo, wag, na, wag, ah, wag mo na po kaming paalisin, Lord. Tapos ang sabi niya po, ang nagdi-distinguish daw ng, 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 ng people of God from other people on the earth is not richness. It's not the wealth that they have, you know. But he said, ah, your presence, sabi niya po, ano, if your presence will not go with us, papaano malalaman ng tao na kasama ka namin? Papaano malalaman ng tao na kami ay, uh, kami ay mga tao mo? We are the people that, uh, that you have chosen. How, how, how will the, the people in the earth will know that we are yours, God? How will people know that you are a Christian, that you are believing God, if His presence is with you? Amen. We're not Christians because of what we are saying or what we are doing. We are Christians because His presence is living with us. Amen po. You know, ang sarap kasi parang, I, I, it, it's really, uh, this verse really spoke to my heart. Kasi, oo nga, no, pwede naman pala na, um, we can, we may think or we can think that if we are prosperous, if we are wealthy, the favor of God is with us. But sabi po ni Moses, no, it is by His presence. Amen. How's the presence of God in your life? How's the fruit of the Holy Spirit in your life? You know, in Galatians 5, verse 22 to 23, sabi po doon, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such there, uh, things, there is no law. You know, how will people know that God is with you, that His presence is with you? You are showing the fruit of His Spirit. Amen. The presence of God is not just flowing when we say that God, Lord, your presence is with me. But the presence of God will be seen if His Spirit, the fruits of His Spirit is seen in our lives. People will experience the love of God because the presence of God is resting upon you. Amen. People will experience the, the, the presence of the Lord with you because His fruit is being seen in your life. When people see you, they see joy. They see peace. When people come to you, they feel the comfort of the Lord. And even in your time, in your own life, in your personal life, that even when there's situation, the presence of God comes the storm. Amen po ba? The other, niche, the other nation saw that they are people of God because the Lord was with them. His presence was with them. Ang sarap po, no? Moses doesn't want to even take a step without God in him. Ganon niya po kamahal si Lord. Ganon niya hinanap si Lord. How did Moses seek God? He asked God, Lord, teach me your way so I may know you and, come and, and continue to find favor with you. Moses was after the heart of God. Moses is seeking the ways of the Lord. How are we seeking right, God right now? Amen. We can seek God through His Word. 
let us know His ways. God, Lord, kahit nag-work uh, ka, you can ask God, Lord, how do you want me to do this job? How do you want me to do this? Um, how do you want me to do this business? How do you want me to do this um, ministry that you have given to me? God has given you skills, but He also wants you to do it through Him and with Him and for Him. Amen. That's what Moses do. He did not just lead the people. You know, Moses was assigned to lead the people of God. But he is not just about leading the people of God, but he is about, Lord, I'm after your way. I'm after your heart. In Matthew 6.10, Jesus teaches us how to pray. And one of his prayers, it says, Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It's also the same. God, teach me your way. Lord, let the kingdom of God come. Lord, teach us your way. Marami pong mga pagkakataon that we want the gospel to be relevant in our lives. But this time, God wants us to know the culture of God, the kingdom culture, and put it in our lives. Amen. Ang sana po ay, Jesus was teaching us the same way that let us know the way of the kingdom. Let us know the culture, uh, uh, the culture of God, the kingdom culture. Let us know His ways. Let us know how to love. Let us know how, how to live this life the way that He wants us. Amen. May, may, I, I, I pray that this will also be our desire, that we will desire that, um, to know His ways, to know the, king, the, the culture of His kingdom, the, the, work of the, ha, the, the work of the hand of God. Hindi lang po natin titingnan kung ano yung ginagawa ng Diyos, but kung papaano ginagawa ito ng Diyos so that we will know Him. Amen. Let's just, uh, I just really want to encourage you let have this uh, let let us decide to have this heart that seeks god amen and because moses pleased the lord you know um because moses pleased the lord what moses uh, gained he continued to gain the favor of god his life or yung pabor ng dios hindi niya lang yun naramdaman one time big time Pero naramdaman niya yung presence ng Lord, naramdaman niya yung pabor ng Diyos throughout his life. Because it's not about what he do, but it's about who he is. Amen? If you want your favor of God for the rest of your life, we have to have the Lord inside of us. We have to know His ways because that's the only way we can, we can experience the continuous favor of the Lord. Amen? Amen. Don't stop because this is my, po my point number two. How did Moses continue to experience the Lord? He asked for more. <laughs> In Exodus 33 verse 18, so um, sabi ng Lord sa kanya, um, um, in, in verse 17, sabi ng Lord, The Lord said to Moses, I will do the very thing you have asked because I am pleased with you and I know you by my name. Wow, na-receive na yun ni Moses ha. Pero ano yung second thing that Moses did? Sabi, ng, sabi niya kay Lord, Lord, show me your glory. Amen. You know, that is what Moses did. He seek God and he asked for more. He asked for more of Him. He asked for more of God. Diba? Ang sarap po nun. You know, Moses, hindi niya lang po na-experience yung favor ng God. But every time he experiences his favor, he hunger for more of Him. He asks God, I want more. Because the Lord wants to give us more. Amen. The Lord wants to give you more wherever you are right now. If you are experiencing God in your life, there is more for you. Amen? There is more healing coming to your way. There is more favor coming in your way. There is more blessings coming to your way because you are after God's heart. Amen? I want to share you in Exodus chapter 3, nung medyo bago-bago pa lang yung relationship ni Lord at ni Moses, Okay. Nung bago-bago pa lang po nila, sila, si Moses, sabi niya po dito, um, Exodus chapter 3. So, ito po yung story where uh, God called Moses through the bur uh, burning bush. ba? So, sabi po doon, um, sabi ng Lord sa kanya, um, 
When the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, God called to him from within the bush, Moses, Moses, and Moses said, Here I am. Sabi po sa kanya ng Lord, Do not come any closer. God said, Take off your sandals for the place where you are standing is a holy ground. Then he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. At this, Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. Ito yung nagsisimula pa lang sila eh. Pero fast forward, after ilang chapter, after um, ilang years or times sa magkakasama sila, ngayon hindi na nagtatago si Moses. Sabi na, ng, sabi na ni Moses, Lord, show me your glory. Diba? At first he was afraid. But over time, because he was seeking God, there was boldness, there was confidence, there was desire for more. Now, instead of hiding his self, sabi niya, Lord, show me your glory. I want more. Amen. Lord, we want more for Unbound City Church. Lord, we want more for our family. Lord, we want more for our career. Lord, we want more of you at this time. Amen. He wants more. And because Moses, you know, and because Moses desired for more, I want to show you what did Moses um, encounter. Okay? Ano po, ba yung, ano po ba yung na-encounter ni Moses? In verse 34, um, because he asked, Lord, show me your glory. At nagpakita si Lord sa kanya. Pero sabi ng Lord sa kanya, um, you cannot see my face, but I will allow you to see my back. <laughs> so pag binasa niyo po yung verse 34, I want to read in verse 4, uh, Exodus chapter 34, verse 4. So Moses chiseled out two stone tablets like the first one and went up on Mount Sinai. In verse 5, Then the Lord came down in the cloud and stood there with him and proclaimed his name, the Lord. And he passed in front of Moses, proclaiming, The Lord, the Lord, the compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, uh, abounding in love and faithfulness, maintaining love to thousands and forgiving with um, for, forgiving wickedness, rebellion, and sin. Yet he does not leave the guilty unpunished. He punished the children and their children for the sin of the parents to the third and fourth generation. Moses bowed to the ground at once and worshipped the Lord. He said, I have found favor in your eyes. Amen. Because Moses asked for more, he encountered God even more. I love this verse 34, verse um, 5 to 10, or uh, uh, verse 5 to 10, especially the verse 6, kasi sabi doon, what did Moses see when he asked for God? He saw the compassionate heart of God, His graciousness, that God is a God who is slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. What did Moses encounter, or what did Moses see? He sees the love of God. He sees the patience of God. He sees the faithfulness of God. He sees his forgiveness of God. He, Moses saw his justice, his deliverance, his promises. Isn't it that is the favor of God? His love, his goodness, experiencing who God is in our lives. Because he asked for more. Because he was thirsty for more of him. You know, while praying for today, I just really sense that there is an invitation of, of from God for us to ask for more of Him. God is inviting you. Maybe uh, you have been Christian for many years already, but there is more. Marami pa na ipapakita si Lord. Malalim yung pagmamahal ng Diyos. It's wide. It's deep. It's immeasurable. And God is inviting us. You want to experience the life of favor? Why not you ask God, Lord, show me your glory. Show me who you are. You know why, um, why, why, why did um, God um, continue to give favor to Moses? Because he is not after what God can do. He is after his heart. God wants you to experience Him. But He wants you to see His heart for you. Ano po yung nakita ni Moses? That, that really speak to me. Eh. Ano po yung nakita ni Moses sa mga panahon na to? Nakita niya yung puso ng Diyos. Nakita niya that there is compassion in the heart of God. 
And in this, the Lord has promised to him, I am making a covenant with you before all your people. I will do wonders in your eyes. Then the Lord, uh, I, I will do wonders never before done in any nation in all the world. These people you live among, among you will see how awesome is the work of the Lord. I, the Lord, will do it for you. The nation of Israel experienced the favor of God because there is one man who hunger for more of him. Your family can experience the favor of God if there is one like you who will hunger for more of him. Maybe hindi lang po yung pamilya natin. Maybe you can be the vessel like Moses, the vessel of your community to experience the presence of God. Because there is one person that asks for more of him. People will experience the overflow of his promises to your life. Maybe it's not just for your family. It's your, for future family. It's for the generation to come. Moses opened a way for people to experience God because he, fo he focused on one thing. God, teach me your way. Your presence to go before us. Sabi nga po ni Moses, if you read the, 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 uh, the other verses po, sabi niya po doon, alam ko Lord that they are um, wicked, na stiff neck sila. <laughs> yun, yung, yun yung ano niya na ginamit. Um, matitigas po yung ulo nila, but Lord, you have to be with us. You know, maybe meron po sa atin na, Lord, paano ka may experience ng family ko if um, they are not living according to your ways? Or maybe you're asking God, um, paano ko makaka-experience ng pabor mo sa, sa, sa work ko if I have people like, uh, if I have people like this in my life, if, the, if, if my leaders are like this, how, I, how am I gonna experience God? How am I ex gonna experience His favor? You know what Moses did? He just, he, he just seek the heart of God. And no matter how, how, how wicked the people was, hindi nun nalimitahan yung galaw ng Diyos sa buhay nila. Moses was the agent of change. So that people will experience the Lord. And I also do believe that this is an invitation of God for us. Our hunger for God must not be affected by the negative things that is happening in our surrounding. The more that we see negative things, why not we hunger for more of Him? Because people need more of God. Instead, that um, our heart will be disheartened, discouraged. Why not we go to our knees and pray? You know, after this encounter with God, Moses received the Ten Commandments that guided the people. Hindi lang ng mga panahon na yon, but even up to this day, there's these Ten Commandments that uh, we know, sometimes pinapamemorize pa sa atin. Because there is one man who hunger to know the ways of God. Lahat tayo naka-experience ng gabay ng Diyos because of that. And God also wants you to experience the same because there's unique you who hunger for more of Him. People will see the compassionate love of God, the gracious hand of God, his patience, His justice. People will see that. People will experience that because of you. So right now, I want to give this time for us to communion with God. For us to have this time of prayer and worship to God. Ang sarap po, alam niyo po, nung mga panahon na ito, Si Moses lang, tsaka si Lord. Lord, tayong dalawa lang. Sa bundok, doon sila nag-uusap. Nakita niya si Lord. You know, we may not be in a mountain or maybe may kasama ka man sa bahay mo ngayon o sa lugar kung nasaan ka ngayon. But even you have that people around you, God can speak to you privately. You can still have your moment to God privately. He still want to reach your heart. 
So why don't we just close our eyes? You know, the nation of Israel received a covenant from a great God because of one man who sought the heart of God. I remember in Psalm 73, verse 26, David says, Lord, my flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Maybe may mga times po na um, we are condemned to come after the heart of God because we think there's impurity, there's failures in our lives. Pero alam niyo po, hindi ka po tinitingnan ng Diyos na ganon. But God looks at you as the person He has created. He made you beautifully and wonderfully. Knowing our imperfections and failures, God still said that my creation, it is good. Amen. So, let us turn our eyes to Jesus. Stop looking at yourself. Stop. Start looking at Jesus. There's this one thing that, uh, you know, may mga, minsan meron tayong mga lie na pinapaniwalaan so that we can come, we cannot come with the Lord. I remember uh, during my, uh, one of my class, sabi niya, you know what's the difference between conviction and condemnation? Conviction is the voice that's seeking or that uh, pointing us to, the, to God and condemnation is the voice that divides us from experiencing the heart of God. You know, for example, you lie. Sabi po doon, conviction will tell that you lie. Condemnation will tell that you are a liar. If you fail, conviction or the voice of God will tell you, hey, um, you made a mistake. But the, but the condemnation will tell you, hey, you are a failure. Anong boses yung pinapakinggan mo sa mga panahon na to? Maybe you're listening to the negative voice. That's why it's hard for us to come to Jesus. It's hard for us to come to the Lord. Stop looking. Stop listening to those lies. God is inviting us for more right now. Why not wherever we are, we just close our eyes. Let's just take this moment of silence and focus on the presence of God. Maybe you are in a church right now. If you are in the church right now, hindi po aksidente na nandito ka. Let's just respect the presence of God. And allow the Spirit of God to speak to us. I do believe that there is an invitation to come to Jesus. Let's just stop moving for a while right now if you are on site. Let's just be still in the presence of God. God, you are here. Maybe you are in your living room or in your room watching. I want to invite you to take this time to seek the heart of God. To take away whatever things that distracting us. There's an invitation to seek the heart of God deeper. In your own personal time, there's this invitation. Anak, will you come after my heart? Not because you want my you want to see my hand, but because I want to show you my love for you. I want to heal you from whatever things that is hurting you. Let's just take this time to experience the goodness of God. He loves you. And His love for you is not measured by how much you love Him. But His love for you is measured for who He is. Because of who he is. Let's just stay this time. If you are in the church right now, why not leave? Stand. And I want to make time, create the space.
maybe there's this prayer na matagal nang nasa puso mo pero hindi mo nasasabi kay Lord because um, you don't have or uh, you don't have time or nawala yung prayer time mo. Now, is, eh, ito po yung panahon that we can come to the Lord. Maybe you find this message simple. But it is the heart of God at this moment that we will seek Him, that we will know Him, that we will experience Him. And He wants you to take, He wants to take you deeper. He wants to take you higher. Why don't we just raise up our hands? If you are a first-timer, Ngayon, well, ngayon ka lang po naka, naka tune in sa message sa, sa service na, na ito it's not an accident that you are here God is inviting you to know Him to see Him are you tired? one of the promises that God has given to Moses I will give you rest There are people who've hurt you. Now is the time to go to your father. Are you are you worried about a lot of things? Are you anxious about so many things in your life? God wants to calm that storm inside. Nasaan ka man ngayon? If you believe, God can heal you. But we need His presence. And He wants you. Sing this softly. Come on, a time to surrender. Lord, have your way at this time. Maybe many of us are worried about govern our government, about the pandemic still existing. Lord, have your way in us. Lord, have your way. We just lay ourselves down. Lay ourselves down. Is it a fragrance? Then I pour my oil out. Is it a life laid down? Then here I give my vows. Is it a song I sing? Here's every melody. Tell me what moves you. Come on, this song is about laying down our lives to the Lord. God, is it a fragrance? Then I pour my oil out. Is it a life laid down? Then here I give my vows. Is it a song I sing? Here's every melody. So tell me what moves. How did Moses spend his time knowing God? How did Moses seek the Lord? He spent time with the Lord. He asked for more and he laid down his life to the Lord. Moses surrendered his life to God. Moses gave his time to the Lord. Moses gave his strength. You know, it's not easy to go to a mountain to seek the Lord, but he made an effort. When he was speaking to the Lord, he gave his whole attention to the Lord. Maybe you have this heart na, Lord, gusto ko naman eh, I really wanna come before you. But there's a lot of hindrances. Right now, God is weighing that. Is taking away those things. It's not 
not just about your ability, it's about your heart, your desire. He wants you to love Him with all your heart, mind, and soul. Let us make this prayer our declaration. Is it a prayer? When I pour my oil out, is it a life laid down? Then here I give my vows. Is it a song I sing? Here's every melody. So tell me what moves you. Tell me what moves from the heart. Let's sing this. Is it a fragrance? Then I pour my oil out. Is it a life laid down? Then here I give my vows. Is it a song I sing? Here's every melody. Just tell me what moves you. Tell me what moves you. Is it a fragrance? Then I pour my oil out. Is it a life laid down? Then here I give my vows. Is it a song I sing? Here's every melody. Just tell me what moves you. calling us by name. You're calling us individually. And Lord, here we are. We want to tell you. Here we are. And we want you to know clearly that you are the desire of our hearts. The world can give us riches, they can never give you to us, God. So here we are, Lord. You are the joy giver. You are the love that satisfies us. You are the living water that restores our soul, that strengthens us, that gives us hope, Lord. Father, your throne, Lord, in your throne, there is grace. So, Lord, nandito po kami, Lord, uhaw po kami sa iyo. Not because, Lord, we didn't experience you in the past, but because we want more of you, God. Show us your glory. Show us your heart. Show us, Jesus. Why not wherever you are? Why not we cry? Come on, let's just knock.
Come on, just a little bit more, a little bit more. Let us worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. We worship God in behalf of our families. We worship God in behalf of our nation. We worship the Lord. In my heart. This is what we want. To please you. To find favor in you. Not because of what your hand can do, but because of your love. Marami pong salamat for this time, God. Lord, this is just the beginning of experiencing more of you in our lives. Marami pong salamat, Lord, that seeking you, God, place us to a position of favor. But God, even if there's favor and blessings, we want you and we love you. Maybe you are a first timer and you never accepted Jesus or surrendered your life to Him before. I want to tell you that God loves you and He gave His life for you because He wants you to experience His favor and miracles. Because He loves you. And the Bible says, For God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son. For whoever believes in Him will not perish, but have an eternal life. God wants you to believe in Him. Believe that He can do things for you. So if you're a first-timer, I just want to lead you into a prayer. Lord, I just thank you for my friends, Lord, na nanonood po, Panginoon. Just thank you, God, for a heart that is desiring to experience you. Lord, I just want to encourage you to follow me in this prayer. Lord, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your love. I repent for all of my sins. I repent for all of my sins. I believe in you. I believe in you. And I love you. I love you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And um, if you are a member of this church or andito ka po sa lugar na to, I just want to pray for you. Lord, marami pong salamat, Panginoon, sa mga kapatid ko at mga kaibigan na nandito, Panginoon. Thank you for the brothers and sisters who is in this church and who is watching right now. Lord, I just want to bless, Lord, our prayer life, God. That our prayer life will never be the same because we're going to experience more of your love. Like how Moses saw your glory, we will, we will experience more, Lord. We will experience more. Lord, maybe, God, there's this hurt or pain, Lord. This is the beginning of their restoration and healing in the name of Jesus. Right now, if there's physical pain, Lord, I declare healing in Jesus' name. And Lord, as our hands, Lord, are open, 
Fill us with your peace, with your joy, with your love, with more of your presence, Holy Spirit. We thank you, God, for this time. We thank you for this moment with you, Lord. And we're going to encounter you more and more and experience you. We bless you, Jesus, and we honor you. And right now, before I end, I want to just read these promises of the Lord. Sabi po dito in Exodus chapter uh, 34 verse 10, The Lord said, I am making a covenant with you before all your people. I will do wonders never before done in any nation in all the world. The people you leave among you will see how awesome is the work that I, the Lord, will do for you. Obey what I have commanded you today because I will drive you out before your enemies. Marami pong salamat, Lord. We accept this favor in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Come on, palakpahan po natin si Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, church. Pwede mo bang isang palakas na palakpah kay Lord? Why not we sing and shout of praise to Jesus? Come on, palakpahan natin si Lord. Come on, for one minute. One minute, let's just shout, Jesus. Come on. 30 seconds, let's just clap our hands. Let's just rejoice. Rejoice in your presence, God. We love you and we bless you. God, you are good. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Church, welcome to Unbound City Updates. Every Sunday, we are having our Living Room Revival series. Join us for our online Sunday service celebration with three broadcast timing, 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 7 p.m., only here on our official Facebook page. We would also like to invite you to our weekly cell groups where we can learn more about the Word of God and make friends on and offline. We have an array of cell groups from men, women, youth, and young professionals. For more details, you may send us a message on our Facebook page. As we declare that this is the year of revival, we pray that you experience it in all areas of your life, especially in your finances. To give your tithes and offerings, you may give them through the following options. Personal drop-off to Unbound City Church Headquarters, via GCash or bank-to-bank -bank transfer. The account details are flashed on your screen for your reference. Kindly send your giving receipts through our email at unboundcitychurch at gmail.com. May the Lord increase your generosity. Thank you for your support in expanding God's kingdom. God bless you. And you're slow to anger. Your name is great. Hi Church, I hope you're still there. We have come to our Take Talks where we talk about our insights and our learnings about the beautiful message that Pastor Reg de la Cruz has preached. Amen. We are so blessed with that message. Do you agree? If you agree, say amen to the comment box below. Amen, amen. We believe that God draws us closer to Him. So right now, we just want to make a brief summary of what Ate Reg shared to us this, uh, this today. No? So our topic is about way to His favor. So what is the first point? Amen. Number one, Ate Reg said, um, that is about Moses. Um, how did Moses experience the power of God, the favor of God? Number one is Moses sought God. He was seeking God all throughout his journey. Wow. So just because you found God doesn't mean 
you stop seeking Him. Minsan kasi nakilala natin si Lord and then we stop there. And then we complain right after that na bakit hindi kompleto yung buhay natin, ang daming kulang, and we are desire, desiring for more, but we stop seeking Him. So that's not the right way to do it because Christianity is a journey and it, uh, it is a process of seeking Him and abiding in Him and keeping His commands. Yung bang, um, all, all throughout your life, you are doing His will. And um, hindi pwedeng namit, pag namit mo siya, titigil ka na. You have to keep seeking Him. Amen. And one thing I realize that as we seek God more and more, hindi lang siya yung na di discover natin we also discover ourselves and yun yung kung paano tayo mag mag respond whenever we are in a situation mahirap man o madali yan you know uh, when you know that God's power is at hand and and God is a miracle uh, maker is he is a way maker alam mo magiiba yung response mo dun sa mga bagay and you will not be fearful na harapin yung mga bagay na yun. And that's what I learned about the point number one. Wow, come on. Diba? So, consistency is key in seeking the Lord. So, I hope, uh, church, no, every day we really want to, to just draw ourselves to God. And the point number two is ask for more. Come on, church. You know what? It's... it's it's one thing to know the Lord, but it's also uh, another It's another thing to really experience God. And that is what we are believing in this church. You know what? Everything was purchased by the blood of God. So do not be afraid to seek for more, to ask for more, because God's favor is upon you. God is for you. So I think that's it. Um, anything that um, we want to remind our church, the uh, happenings for this week. Amen. So as we have mentioned, we are still accepting the revival offering. It's open up until January 31, 2021. Email us please at unboundcitychurch at gmail.com. Please write there. It's a revival offering. Please also include your transaction receipt or um, a screenshot if you're giving online and you may write also your prayer request. So what do we what else do we have? Yes, please don't forget to join our cell groups. Uh, we have uh, cell groups for youth, for young professional, for uh, the elders. So we would love to uh, be with you there. Amen. So our living room revival Woo! ends now. Let's enjoy the fellowship. Thank you so, so much for joining us today. Yes. Uh, together, we are unbound. Enjoy the rest of the day, everyone. God bless you all.